Okay, hello. Um, welcome to Ink Tutors today. We'll be discussing the basic 2019 theory questions and we'll be solving every question step by step so you can understand it very well. Now, before I go forward, I would like you to hit the subscribe button so that you can get updates and videos from us because we are going to be helping you prepare for your junior YEC or your basic exams. So, stay tuned as we keep releasing more videos. So, the only way you can get videos from us is to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Okay, so um, our first question here today says um, the height of an equilateral triangle is 15 cm and this perimeter is 36 cm. Find the area of the triangle. Okay, now you know the first thing you need to know is area of triangle is half base times height. Okay, so let's draw a triangle. Remember an equilateral triangle has the three sides equal. So this side is equal to this side and is equal to this side. Now we are given the height to be 15 cm. That means this is 15 cm. Now we're not giving the side, so let's call here x, we'll call here x, also call here x. Now perimeter is giving us 36 cm. And if you understand perimeter very well, you understand that perimeter is a sum of the three sides. So now we have our height, we don't have our base, but we know that when you sum up the three sides, including the base, you get the perimeter. So our perimeter, which is um, 36 cm, perimeter, which is 36 cm, is equal to the sum of the three sides, which is x plus x plus x. So that means 36 cm is equal to 3x. Therefore, x is going to be 36 divided by 3, which is going to give us um, 12 cm. So now we have our base, which is x, 3 cm. We can now go ahead to find our height. So area will now be half times base times height. And you know that our x is equal to b, which is um, equal to 12 cm. So this is going to now be half times 12 times 15. So 2 into here is 1. 2 into 12 is going to give us 6. That means this is going to be 6 times 15, which is going to be 90. Now, don't forget your units because that's going to be cm squared because it's an area you're looking for. Okay, so question 2 says solve the equation. So the, what we're going to do here is Let's write out our equation. 2 into 2x plus 1 all over 3 is equal to x minus 3 all over 2. Now, um, open the brackets. This is 2 times 2x is going to give us 4x plus 2 all over 3 is equal to x minus 3 all over 2. Now, the next thing you need to do is cross multiply. So, this is going to be 4x plus 2 all multiplied by... 2 is equal to 3 into x minus 3. So 2 times 4x is going to give us 8x, expanding the bracket. 2 times 2 is going to give us 4, which is equal to 3 times x is going to give us 3x minus 3 times 3 is going to give us 9. So collecting like terms, collect like terms. Now, in collecting like terms, you move all the x one side and you move all the numbers one side. So this is going to be 8x minus 3x is equal to minus 9. Plus 4 going over is going to be minus 4. Now, what we did is 8x plus 3x coming over became minus 3x is equal to minus 9. Plus 4 going over now became minus 9. So this is going to be 5x is equal to minus um, 13. So therefore, x, our x is going to be minus 13 divided by 5. Now, changing this to a proper fraction is going to be minus 2 whole number Remainder 3 over 5. So that's our final answer. Now, that will take us to question 3. It says, if, if the mean of this, of 3, 2, x, 11, 13, 14, it's 8, find the value of x. Now, one word to describe mean, it's also average. And you understand that to get the average of any number, you sum up all the individual numbers divided by the total the number of numbers you have. So, to get our mean, it says 
we will need to do 3 plus 2 plus x plus 11 plus 13 plus 14 all divided by remember that 8 is the mean 8 is not included so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 is going to give us 8 is that clear okay so going forward sum up all these numbers 3 plus 2 is going to give us 5 5 plus 11 is going to give us um, 16 16 plus 13 is going to give us 29 29 plus 14 is going to give us 9 plus 4 is 3 carry 1 this is um, 4 so this is going to give us 43 plus x over 6 is equal to 8 so at this point you cross multiply over 1 so you cross multiply so this is going to be 43 plus x is equal to 6 times 8 so this is going to be 43 plus x equal to 48 now to collect like terms our x is going to be 48 plus 43 coming over is going to become minus 43 therefore our x is going to be 5 so our final answer is 5 okay so um our next question says ada musa and femi are to share 27000 in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5 respectively how much will each of them receive now the first thing you need to do is get the total ratio so which is going to be 2 plus 3 plus 5 and that's going to give us 10. Now for Ada alone, Ada is going to be 2 over the total 10 times the total amount they are sharing. Now 0 is going to cancel 0, 2 times 27 is going to give us 54, then 0, 0. So Ada is going to get 5,400. Femi, Musa is second, Musa is 3. Remember that this is Ada, this is Musa, and this is Femi. So you must use them individually. So Musa will be 3 over 10 times 27,000. Now 0 cancels 0 here. 27 times 3, 27 times 3, 3 times 7 is 1, carry 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 8. So that's going to give us 8,100. Then the last person is Femi. So Femi is going to be um, 5 over 10 times 27,000. Now, 0 is going to cancel um, 0. So 27,000 times 5, that's 27 times 5. It's going to give us 5 times 7 is 5, carry 3. Um, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3, that's 13. So it's going to be um, 13,000. 500 now to be confirmed that this is correct we need to sum up the total and it has to give us 27,000 5,400 plus 8,100 plus 13,500 so let's sum it up to see whether we will get 27,000 this is 0 this is 0 4 plus 1 5 plus 5 10 0 carry 1 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 8 is 14 14 plus 3 is 17 7 carry 1 and that's 27 so our final answer are correct so that will take us to the last question that's question 5 now it says make l the subject of the formula so we have t is equal to 2 pi square root of l over g now anytime you're solving a question and you have square root and you're trying to find make um, the variable you're looking for um, the subject of formula and it has square root. One way you have to solve it is to eliminate the square root. Now, the first thing I, I'm going to explain to you is if you have x square root of x or square, the answer is x. I'm going to explain that. Now, what is square root of 4? It's going to give you 2. Square 2 is going to give you 4. That means square root of 4 or square will give you 4. Now, it also means that square root of 8 or square will give you 8. Okay? If you get that. So, square both sides. So, why we are squaring both sides is to remove the square root that is housing L and G. So, this is going to be T square is equal to 2 pi square root of 
L over G all square. Now, this is going to be T square is equal to 2 square is going to give us 4. Pi square is going to give us pi square. Then, now, square root of L over G all square is now going to give us L over G. So this is going to be L over G. At this point, you can choose to cross multiply. So this will be T squared times G is equal to 4 pi squared L. Now, to get our L, divide both sides by 4 pi squared. Now, the essence of dividing both sides by 4 pi squared is to eliminate the 4 pi squared where L is. So this is going to be T squared G over 4 pi squared is equal to 4 pi squared L over 4 pi squared. So 4 pi squared is going to cancel 4 pi squared. So we have our L as T squared G over 4 pi squared. Okay, so I hope the solutions of this um, math meet you well. Now, like I said, we're going to be releasing several videos trying to explain most of these questions. Um, we'll be releasing the next badge in the next two days. So all you need to do is hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can um, get more videos. And also, you can also check us um, out at uh, Ink Tutors. So our channel is Ink Tutors. So make our time, check out our videos, and stay tuned as we release more. Thank you.